am Jennifer DiDonato, and welcome to Made Fit TV. This is episode number 56, and it is everyone's source for health and fitness information and entertainment. And it's where fit bodies, they don't just happen. They're made, and they're made by you, and with a little bit of help with me. So welcome. Um, this week, I have an awesome story. Uh, well, first of all, I'm very happy to be back in the gym. I'm sure you guys are as well. Uh, we did a lot of previous episodes with the recipes. We did Biggest Loser casting call. You know, want to wish everyone good luck on that. So we're back in the gym, and you know, funny story. I, you know, you see all this equipment here. You know, my dad, he's been an avid weightlifter probably, you know, since before I was born. I mean, he's 56 this year. He's been lifting weights since he was 15. So, I mean, he's just constantly been pounding the weights. And I knew, you know, I'm like, you know what, a few weeks ago I found like some plate weights on the side of the road. <laughs> You know, someone's just throwing away. So I'm like, sweet, it's like Christmas. So I pick them up, I load them up in the car. I'm like, you know what, there's so many other like movements I want to do with heavier plate weights that I'm like, oh, you know, I don't want to have to go and buy them. So I was talking to my dad and he's like, I got some plate weights under the stairs in the basement. And so we dragged them out yesterday and here they are. And so I figured if I have weights that I didn't even know about, you probably do too. So that's why this week's episode is a plate weight workout because there's a lot you can do with it. And he was even like, you know, Jen, we don't have a good bench, uh, you know, for you to bench press on. And I'm like, ah, you don't need to bench press because, guys, it can be a little dangerous if you are bench pressing without a spot. So I'm going to show you some movements that you can do with this equipment that you may even have in your house that is safer and more effective than chest presses or bench presses. So set to go. Number one, the first movement I'm going to show you is going to be a modified barbell core twist with the plate weight. Okay, so what I did is I have a beautiful shiny little barbell that has not been used in like forever. Okay, this is 25 pounds. 25 pounds of Jack Lelaine, folks. You may even have this one. So um, a typical, this is derived, this is my own modification of a Romanian uh, twist, core twist. And what that is, you're working the core movements. You're going from side to side keeping your legs about hip width apart, and you are controlling it by your abs, by your core, your obliques, everything. It's a killer movement. But what I like to do with my clients, just to kind of up the ante a little bit, is I like to activate the legs, the glutes, even the arms with this movement. So this is my modified one. Okay, so you're gonna bring your feet about shoulder width a little bit wider apart, one hand on top of the other, and you're gonna twist, but you're gonna also bend your arm and bend your legs. Still keeping the abs tight and still keeping facing forward. So see how I'm activating my bicep, my tricep, my shoulders, my chest, my abs, my legs, my hamstrings, my glutes. Like this is an awesome total body movement. If you do about 10 to 15 on each side, three sets, this is killer. You're gonna feel it in your abs and your obliques and I guarantee you that you're gonna be way more sore in the morning than you would having done typical, um, typical crunches, typical oblique twists, all that jazz. So check it out and try it and just make sure when you try it the first time you have a spot or lighten up on it. Maybe put about 10 pounds on that side instead of 25. Okay, moving on, our next movement with the plate weight is a shoulder raise. Okay, I'm just gonna grab ah, my other 25 pounder. Now it's a typical front shoulder raise, but this is one of my favorites. Chris can attest to this because when I'm in training and I do shoulders on my shoulder day, I love this movement. What you're gonna do is you're just gonna stand with your hands, just gripping the plate, chest up, abs nice and tight, chin up, and you're just gonna raise it. It's about parallel to the ground. Resist on the downward. You're gonna find when you resist on the downward, you're activating your glutes as well. I'm sorry, not your glutes, your abs, what am I thinking? So you're activating those abs because if you lean forward, then you're putting pressure on your back and you're not stimulating the abdominal muscles. So that's what you want to do. You want to work the shoulders and the abs at the same time. So do about 10 to 15 reps of these. Like I said, if 25 is too heavy or it's not heavy enough, go up uh, to 35 pounds or bring it back down to about 10 pounds on the plate weights with that. Really good. Feel it in the abs already. Okay, next movement is gonna be a squat press. We're gonna use the same plate weight. I don't know why I just set it down. Maybe I just wanna get more of a workout. <laughs> so, the squat press is awesome. It's a compound movement. You're also working your legs and your shoulders and your core at the exact same time. And this calls for power. Power is awesome because you're burning more calories and you are um, expending more energy and putting more um, challenge, you're challenging your muscles a lot more. So you're placing more demand on them, which is 
great for results. So you're gonna stand with your feet about shoulder width apart. You're gonna squat down, have the plate about parallel to the ground, like a little, like you're holding um, your dinner on there, like you can eat it, okay, right there. Squat down, boom. Make it simultaneous, guys. Show you from the side, okay? You want your heels down. Sit into it, keep the chest up like you're sitting into a chair. Keep the chin up and make sure you're keeping that plate nice and flat, like you have a plate on there, a glass of water, you don't want to fall. That's gonna help trigger the, the uh, shoulder muscles even more, and it's going to be more effective because you're doing the right form with that. Now, the next movement, number four, that we're gonna do with the plate weight is called a plate push. This one you've probably seen at gyms, maybe not, um, but you can use heavier than normal uh, plate weights with this one. I'm gonna start it right on this side, Chris. So go ahead and grab me on this side. Okay, you're gonna stand with one foot against the side of the plate. Um, if you're on a, uh, a harder surface though, go ahead and put the plate on a, um, on a towel, okay? And what you're gonna do, bend the leg slightly and just slide it over. This is working your hip abductors, it's working your gluteus medius in the butt, and then bring it on back, bring it on back, work the hip adductors as well. You can do this across the room if you want to. So you can push it off to the side with your abductors, bring it on back with your adductors, and then repeat with the other leg. So you're working the entire leg. It's really unconventional, it's a little different, but it's a lot better than just sitting on that machine doing, doing this. I know I certainly don't like those machines, they're not very flattering either. Okay, <laughs> all right, number five. This is a movement that you can increase um, your intensity and challenge your push-ups on. This is a weighted push-up. Now, a lot of you are probably like, oh, I can barely do like 10 push-ups. Well, guess what? If you can do 10 push-ups, I want you to just grab about five pounds of a plate weight and stick it on your back and do eight push-ups. You know what I'm saying? Because you just want to intensify that. Sure, you're increasing in your reps, you know, maybe over time, but this is going to increase in your strength. So I'm just going to have you lay on the floor, and you can get a spot if you want to for this first time. Don't use heavy weight to begin with, because I don't want you smashing yourself, okay? So you're going to be laying on your back, on your stomach, and replace the weight on the center of my back. Okay, hands are gonna be um, about chest width apart. And this is um, typically good for people who can do the push-ups on their toes, because if you're on your knees, the, uh, the weight is gonna slide off, okay? So you're just gonna raise yourself onto your toes, okay? Push-ups. <sighs> Keep the abs nice and tight. This is, this is challenging your abs and your chest because this is adding 10 more pounds to my frame. So this is just a way for you to modify the boring push-ups that you've been doing every morning for like the past, you know, month. Guys, let me know how you think of all these movements. Email me at Jenny at MadeFitTV.com. Also go to MadeFitTV.com and go to the Ask Jenny section, the little tab up there. That'll email me as well. I always email everyone back and um, I want to help you and I want to hear about what you think. And you can also comment also below because I'm sure everyone else likes to hear what you guys think as well. So comment. We can start a little conversation going. It's great. And um, I also love to chat with everyone on Twitter. I'm Twitter.com slash Jenny DiDonato, Facebook.com slash Jennifer DiDonato, and I'm also on iTunes because you can subscribe and then it'll pop up right in your iTunes list. Put it on your iTunes or iPod, listen to it at the gym, wherever, watch it at the gym. It's great because it can go with you. And, um, you know, I just like to connect with the audience and see what you guys have to say. And I want to be accessible to you guys all the time. So um, also check out our Made Fit TV uh, store. We got some t-shirts up. But the best way, you know, even on YouTube, I know a lot of you guys are still subscribing through Brides Made Fit. Subscribe to the Made Fit TV channel, or better yet, just go on madefittv.com and subscribe to that as well. We're also you streaming every Saturday at noon so you can watch and chat with me live. So thanks so much for joining us, guys, and I'll see you next time. Let me get back to my Jack Lane. Drive the car. That's right. That's right. Go. 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 Go